And so we've come to our main event here on Nitro. Of course, the champ champ makes his return to Nitro after a nice week, in universe mode time anyway, of celebrating. And his first opponent is a man that could have very well been world champion several months ago in Matt Riddle during the Fatal 4-Way match at Extreme Rules. It is a question of what... No, oh, it seems as though he's coming out with the big gold belt. As I've said before, ladies and gentlemen, AJ Styles retained his championship. He retained the United States Championship in a count-out victory against Elias. Or was it defeat? Either way, he retained his championship via count-out. That thus uh, setting the stage for the match against Samoa Joe, where he eventually made Joe tap out, which I believe was the calf killer. That uh, was the move that made Joe tap out. And thus, Joe's month-long reign came to an end. And now, AJ Styles is only the third champ champ in EBCW history since the start of this series. The first one was Seth Rollins way back in 20, uh, 2K16, Matt Awesome in 2K19, and oh, for a brief couple of matches. And AJ Styles now could possibly, or could very well be the next, uh, could very well be one of the longest reigning, I should say, champ champs. But his opponent, Matt Riddle, has his sights set on the big gold belt. As we know, Riddle, he's a jokester. He's a uh, he's incredibly skilled inside the ring. Former MMA fighter in the UFC. Loves to smoke weed. And this guy, well, a win here could very well catapult him catapult him to a world title opportunity inside the Hell in a Cell. Because as it stands, the World Heavyweight Division, or the World Heavyweight Championship Division is wide open. Anyone can step in and take the title away from AJ Styles. The fact is, if no one could take the title away from AJ Styles as the United States Champion, who the hell is going to even attempt to do it now for the World Heavy Heavyweight Championship? That is something we have to take into consideration. Let's get it on, ladies and gentlemen. Clash of Styles, what I believe is a first-time ever matchup. Let's enjoy it. A first-time ever matchup for EBCW, anyway. Oh, shit. Here's the question, though. Hypothetically, oh wow, Matt Riddle's already busted open. Well, fuck. Now, here's the question, as I was going to say. What happens? What do you think would happen if somehow, some way, in the last pay per view of the 2K20 season for EBCW, probably the last EBCW match for a very, very long time? What happens if AJ loses both the United States, which he has been the longest reigning champion in EBCW because of that, and then loses the World Championship? And for those of you who don't know, AJ Styles is in fact a three-time World Heavyweight Champion. Nice reversal there. I guess Matt Riddle was going for a single leg like move. And a nice reversal by AJ Styles, the champ champ. You know, I made a statement a long time ago, a couple months ago now, maybe a year, how I hate champ champs in MMA because, in all honesty, I think the idea of it really kind of hurts the sport. I hate the idea of people holding championships in multiple divisions because then. Boxing, I can see it working. Uh, in terms of MMA, I don't. Because obviously boxing has 30,000 championships that more or less don't mean anything unless it's the World Heavyweight Championship and a couple other lighter weight belts, but you know what I mean. 
But wrestling, I see it working fine. I mean, it's been done before. I mean, at one point in time, Kurt Angle, for fuck's sake, won every championship TNA had to offer. In it, or when it was known as TNA. Can I fucking get this calf killer? Eh. I can see the calf killer really taking effect on someone like Matt Riddle because Matt Riddle doesn't wear shoes. Nice over the head belly to belly by Matt Riddle. Yeah, but Matt Riddle doesn't even wear fucking shoes. I, I mean, I can see that really hurting him. Fuck it, let's go for the Styles Clash, because why not? Nice. Let's see if there's a pin. One, two, three. Of course, no one's gonna beat the champ champ. No one's gonna beat AJ Styles. He's just too, ch he's just too phenomenal. He's, he's now, he now has two championships. If he had a, if he had a tag team, he'd, he'd probably very well be uh, in the tag team match in Hell in a Cell against DX and Revival, but he's not, so he can't win that championship. Hell, if he wanted to, he can go over to Raw and become Intercontinental Champion. If he wanted to, he can challenge Eddie Guerrero in a dream match for the EPCW Championship. This is That's just the role that AJ has been on since EPCW 2K20 started. That man could very well be champion for a long, long time time and his dominance knows no bounds ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for joining me on today's episodes of nitro i will see you guys on main event as we inch ever closer to ebcw hell in a cell the first of its kind take care you guys